everyone. Welcome back to Cluster B Milkshake. I am your host along with sidekick support puppet, Mr. Chicken. Yes. Today, we are going to be talking about shame. This is, um, in all of my videos, I always talk about um, the core of your person and myself is being shame-based. And you guys are like, what the fuck is that? Well, I'm going to tell you. I uh, was trying to read a book on shame, and it was so complex. Not as in me not understanding, but there was so much information to go in how somebody can um, just be so fucked up in childhood that um, it causes shame. So I went to Tim Fletcher um, and I watched his first video on what is shame. And I took notes so I can talk to you about it the way that he explained it, but with my own, you know, um, uh, feelings on the matter to help get you to, you know, understand it in, you know, my way. Okay, so. Um, everyone with complex trauma, CPTSD, has some shame. Now, the more trauma that you have gone through, through childhood, the more shame you're going to have. So I'm going to read this off to you because um, codependents um, and uh, cluster A, B, C, fucking all through Z, everybody got some. Okay, because there is no perfect parent on the planet. Sorry, sorry, there isn't. So when um, you are watching this, not only are you looking at your person, <clears throat> I want you to look at yourself, okay? Why you attracted this person and, um, or you were attracted to this person, let alone um, how you're fucking up your own kids, okay? Believe me, I, I, I'm, I was like, oh, Oh God, oh God, not only was I, you know, fucked up, I fucked up my own kids and my own sister. Yes, so a triple shame attack right here. I need my shame hat. Shame is the core belief about yourself. My negative view is that I am unlovable, okay? This is my core belief. I'm not good enough and I am inferior. Okay, this is on the inside. This is what we're not going to let you see. This is what we don't want to show. And after I talk to you, I will tell you, you know, what we do to keep that hidden. I did not have a healthy mirror from my parents. So what was being mirrored to me was, you know, all this ugly shit that I'm going to list off for you. Um, and my sister, she did not have a healthy mirror from me either. So not only did she get the um, fucked up reflection from the parents, she also got it, you know, tenfold from myself. Causes of shame in the family. Opinions were laughed at, made to feel stupid. This was done constantly. Um, from my mother i know i've done it to my sister um, my sister and i also talk shit you know as adults um and i know i've done this to my kids uh, belittling you will never amount to nothing um i have watched um, my mother do this to my sister um Either I just blocked it out or I don't remember shit and I don't give a fuck what my mom thinks of me, but I watched it happen. Name calling, teasing, practical jokes. I did this to my sister um, and I know that my mother, that was her way of communication um, with us and my father. Um, and I have done that um, also with my kids. Nothing you ever did was good enough. Constant criticism. So this is, um, you know, you're trying to, uh, whether you're working your ass off trying to do, you know, your homework, 
or clean the house or you're just fucking depressed, lazy uh, teenager and then your parent is just shitting on you constantly. When I um, read this part, I stopped Mikey in the hallway and I, and I, and I was like, you know that I think that you're great and I'm sorry I keep fucking with you about your homework and blah, you know, it's, it's, it's repulsive. It's repulsive to know that, um, you are mirroring all this ugly shit to your children. Um, let me see. Being compared to others. Yes. I was always being compared to my mother's friends, children. Mm-hmm. They were always better than me. Um, they always had drive. They always, you know, were the people that were go-getters and going and going. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm not, I don't know. I'm just trying to survive on the daily. Uh, blamed for the parents' problems. So if they were like, I could have, I could have been so much better if I wasn't pregnant or if I didn't have you or if I didn't meet your father, like it's your fucking fault. <laughs> like it's your fault that your mom met the dad or vice versa or whatever, you know, being blamed um, that, that I wouldn't drink so much if, you know, you didn't stress me out. Not allowed to express their emotions. This is when you try to actually express something to your parent and your parent is like, they don't want to fucking hear it. They shame you for being uh, too sensitive, uh, crying. Um, if you are angry, you're going to get your ass kicked, you know? So all of these emotions are being suppressed in you. And in the end of all this, you don't want to feel them anymore. That's for me. I'm not going to let you see my my sadness. I'm not going to let you see anything vulnerable. You know what you're going to get? You're going to get Hulk smash. That's what you're going to get. Um, promises broken. So if your parent tells you that, you know, oh, we'll go here, we'll do that, we'll do this, that, and the other thing, and then they keep breaking their promises to you and they do not follow through on plans, that's going to fuck you up. Uh, no discipline, spoiled, and no boundaries. So these are the kids that, you know, overrun their parents and they're just like, you know, I'll just give you whatever you want if you just leave me the fuck alone, you know? Um, no boundaries also would be enmeshment, which is, you know, always being in their shit. What are you doing? Where are you going? La, 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 la. That was me. I was like that with my kids. I was like very overprotective, very, you know, you can't, where are you going? Don't forget to text me. Tell me where you are. I don't want, you know, and I would guilt them into thinking that, um, if you do not let me know your every move, move, I'm going to have anxiety. And it's going to be your fault. Um, neglect, emotional unavailability due to workaholism, their own problems, illnesses, or divorce. The child tries to connect with the parent, but can't. This is when even if um, two parents are living with you and you are neglected, all it is is did you eat, um, throw your clothes in the basket, you know, it, everything is just um, a business in the family and there is no emotional connection. There might be, you know, they take you on trips and shit, who fucking cares? Who fucking cares if you can't talk about what's going inside of you, okay? So no, you are not a kick-ass parent because you were throwing money and gifts at them if they cannot talk about their feelings with you. Um, and overworking all the time. So um, that's also going to teach your kid that you are not valued unless you are a workaholic. So some of you will see your um, narcissist um, uh, person or toxic person working all the time, working all the time, working all the time because they do not feel that they will be valued unless they are doing this. Okay, we're not all just lazy pieces of shit, you know, 
this is striving for goals, 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 goals. I'm nothing unless I'm, you know, nothing unless I'm getting to the next tier, you know? Uh, family is all about image. And this is when you're going to see motherfuckers just posting perfect fucking family on social media <clears throat> when, you know, everything is toxic behind the screen. This is why when um, <clears throat> you guys are stalking your exes and you're seeing that they're posting that they have such a great fucking life now with somebody new, it's a lie. It's a lie. And these people were taught also that, you know, you fake everything. You fake the perfect everything. You fake, but you're, they are rotting inside. <laughs> so don't fall for that shit and don't be jealous. Okay? <clears throat> not nurtured. Needs not being met consistently. So having to fend for yourself all the time, like you pride yourself that you had to fucking take care of your own fucking needs when you were seven. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. And I'm not going to fucking clap my hands for you either. You were neglected and your parent did not take care of you. And then you'll say, um, well, my, my mother and father were divorced and my dad didn't, you know, he abandoned us and didn't give us any child support. And then my mom worked all the time and didn't take care. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about your excuse. And the excuses are legitimate, but I'm saying you're fucked because of this, okay? It is what it is, brothers and sisters. Not validated for doing a good job. Yes, this has happened to me. My sister's friend got locked in our room once. She was freaking out crying. They thought that they were gonna have to call the fucking fire department. I was able to do some shimmy sham sham and get in there and fucking unlock the door and she was fucking saved and happy and crying and everything and uh, my mom just looked at me with disgust disgust that bitch hated me um abuse verbal emotional and physical we all know what this is um if you were in foster care adopted divorce this is um feeling feelings of abandonment by your birth parents okay so this is another thing you know how fucking shitty do you feel that your parents had to give you up now we all know that um circumstances where the parent was not able to take care of you or um they were uh shamed into you know having you instead of having an abortion or their fucking shitty ass um, parents to begin with and abusive and then you were put into foster care and you're thinking it's my fault that you know they're they're <clears throat> pushing me away on some other fucking family and then that family's probably fucking you up too <laughs> you know sorry but you know I've heard horror stories about fucking foster care and shit and you ain't you ain't fucking grade A awesome mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not if you're doing all this shit too. Um, love was conditional. Yes. You had to um, do something for your parent to receive love. It wasn't like, I love you anyway. I love you anyway. You, you break something and you were um, reprimanded, um, beat the fuck up, spanked, whatever. My mom, as when I was a baby, taking a nap, I'd play with my shit and rub it all over the fucking crib. And I got beat as a baby. And guess what? I did it again. Because I wasn't, I wasn't like, okay, I touch my shit, I get in trouble. No, I was just like, I'm just being beat up, basically. Because she said that I kept doing it anyway. So now I'm just being beat for nothing nothing just my mother's anger that's it Ugh. shame based parenting this is when they say shit like um uh shame on you as as a motivator okay <clears throat> you, then you start to believe that you're worthless so they're just shaming you all the time thinking that that's going to um, make you be a better person so telling you that you're a piece of shit 
so you will um, stop getting us to tell you that you're a piece of shit. <clears throat> okay, um, let's see. Parents value system. Okay, this is when um, your parents show you what value is for you, you know, out in the world. So like um, if your mother is um, getting a boob job, a facelift, all that shit, um, she is teaching you that you are unlovable unless you're a sex object. Um, the dad might value his car or truck more than the children. My husband does this, ex-husband. His truck is his baby. You could not eat in there, drink in there, not even water, nothing. I was like, let's put a box of tissues in there, you know, in case the kids have to sneeze or whatever. It has to be pristine, everything pristine. He'd be like, but my OCD. And it's like, fuck your OCD. Your kids come fucking first. But we all had to make sure that everything was perfect in his beautiful baby truck. You ever watch Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Yeah, that. <clears throat> um, this can also be um, your parents' value system for religion. If you're not religified, you're a piece of shit. Um, your work ethic. If um, you're not kicking ass at your job and always, 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 always striving to be the best and, and money and getting money and accumulating, you know, um, you're nothing, you're nothing. This is what your parents are teaching you. Um, and also, here's a good one, and he did not say this, but this is what I thought, is staying married to a toxic mate. Your parents are teaching you that no matter what, you stay married. You're getting your ass kicked, you stay married. You're fucking turning into an emotional crypt keeper, you stay married. Because divorce is a sin in their eyes. Even if they're not religified, you don't get a divorce. And so if you do, um, there's gonna be all that shame that you have. And fuck trying to save yourself, you don't do that. You don't do that. You sacrifice your own will be well-being to stay with a fucking nutbag. Um, and then shame based complex trauma from a sibling. So all of this, but your sibling is doing that. Your sibling is talking shit. Your sibling is being physically abusive. Your sibling is withholding attention. You are being abandoned by your sibling. Your sibling is fucking taken off when you know you want to be with your sibling and everything. Now, it's not your sibling's job to um, take care of your emotional needs. It is the parent's job. But it gets pushed on the sibling, which has um, giving them shame-based you know, feelings. And then the sibling is taking it out on the their younger sibling that I have to fucking take care of you. Like it's their fucking fault. So I'm being shamed and then I am shaming my sister. And so my sister gets double time, double time. Okay. <clears throat> okay, then you have the shame that you get um, from Hollywood and culture. This is, they teach you if you are valuable or not through your beauty and body, through your money and possessions through your talents, whether, you know, the actors and the sports uh, uh, athletes and the singers and the artists and everything. You know, everybody wants to be fucking famous, right? You see all those bullshit reality shows. Be famous, be famous, be famous. YouTube, YouTube, right? Um, then you have the school system. Now, they tell you that you are only valuable if you're smart as fuck, okay? A beauty body, you know? Are you in the, you know, all the little cliques, you know? Um, money, possessions, um, you know, who's got, who got a car and all that fucking bullshit. Uh, your talent, so your athletic ability, you know, if you're in drama club, if you can play an instrument, excuse me, join clubs, join clubs, you know, 
the effects of bullies. Other people are like, I'm glad that fucking ain't me, but who is stopping the fucking bully? You know, just saying that basically um, the bully has been shamed so much at home, the only way to release it is to do it on somebody else. And basically, this is what we do to our romantic partners. Okay? We were bullied. We were made to feel all this shame. And then, you know, so we're going to project it all on you. Now, the emotions of shame. Pain, fear, anxiety, insecurity, depression, self-hatred, heart being hard on yourself, the self-harm, okay? Anger, jealousy, envy, discontent, looking for happiness outside of yourself because it's not in there at all. Just like on my video and all the different ways I try to fix myself, man. You know, I'm always, always looking for the outside, looking for the outside. This is why I will always shit on you if you say that fucking love yourself, love yourself. I'm going to delete your comment or I'm just going to fucking scroll on by and ignore your ass because there's no such fucking thing happening. Okay. Shame does nothing but produce negative emotions. Not mild ones, but powerful negative emotions. Okay? Then he made a diagram. And it's um, circles. Okay? So just think um, like uh, the crusts, the nice, you know, when we were in elementary school and the diagram of the earth. So inside the core, that is the real self. Now the real self is what we were told we are. That is the negative mirror, okay? So that is the shame base. We are nothing. This is when I tell you we're a complete void. We are nothing. There's nothing there because we were told we were zero, nothing, okay? Outside of that, is the shame-based um, self-critic. This is what we tell ourselves. Mommy and daddy told us this, now this is what we tell ourselves. Constantly, all the time. It's subconscious. This is what we, we're not good enough. We are, you know, everything that they ever fucking plagued us with, this is, I'm not pretty enough. I'm not, I'm not, um, my body needs to be better. Um, I, um, I'm not smart enough. Um, I'm not striving hard enough. I'm a loser, I'm a loser, I'm a loser, okay? Then, outside of that, that's where we wear our mask. This is what we're masking. We're trying to mask all of this shit is what we are trying to hide. So we are wearing the mask, and outside of that is the fantasy self that we think that we can achieve, okay? So the mask, we're faking everything just to fucking get along. The fantasy is what we wish that we could achieve and we never get there because our shame self-sabotages everything this is why i'm like there's got to be a cheat code there's got to be a cheat code so i can fucking figure out how to um get to the fantasy self there there has to be a way there has to be a way and then the fucking self-critic fucking's like yeah whatever you stupid fucking bitch and then you know so okay well i gotta be fake so everybody will like me everybody will like me and then the fucking shame of the real self comes out and just fucking boom 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 and fucks everything up okay so you are angry that we cannot change for you i hope that this has brought you some um, understanding that this is not just something that we can fucking miracle away this what they call um, your your mind is plastic you can you can when I was young the plasticity of my mind this is what was planted in it and this is where it grew this is why we say that we are emotionally stunted 
at a young age because this is where it grew. This is where it molded. And no amount of psychedelics is going to change that. Okay? So I hope that was helpful. And let me know what you think. And if you have a better, a greater understanding of yourself, your parents, your person, your children. And if it changes your way of thinking on, um, you know, uh, your anger too, you know. We're all fucking angry, man. <laughs> you know, we're all projecting our anger in some way. We're all uh, shame projection big time. All right. What do we say? Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Namaste.